I've got an idea for a snowplow for my tractor. I was going to put it off until, well, it warmed up a little bit. It makes it a little bit nicer to work outside when you're a little bit warmer. And the forecast yesterday was saying that we were going to get maybe two more days of snow in the next week and a half. So I look at the forecast this morning and it says we're going to get like two to three days off and then it's going to snow for five to six more days. With this next snowstorm coming up, it would be a bit easier to plow the road and plow my driveway, my neighbor's driveway, whatever needs to be done. It would be easier to plow it if I had a plow instead of a bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Got a couple 55-gallon drums I'm going to use as, as the scoop part of it. I've just got to split them in half, and weld them together, and I'm thinking about two and a half barrels wide. That way it goes a little bit past the edge of my bucket. It's a little bit wider than my bucket. So I'm going to get my grinder out, get a cutting disc on it, fire up this generator and make a lot of noise, get these barrels cut in half. So I've got three barrels here, three lengths of barrel, and they're overlapped eh, about four or five inches right here. So you got some overlap at the joints. It's going to be, right now, it's sitting flush with this side of the bucket. And it's sticking out on this side of the bucket about a foot, maybe a little bit more. So it's probably about a foot wider than the bucket itself. And I think that's pretty good. The bucket, when I cut just one pass with the bucket, it's as wide as my truck. So I'm going to weld these things, these three pieces of bucket. I'm going to get them nice and straight and weld them together, tack them up real good. And then I need to find some way of reinforcing so that it doesn't flex any there. And I've got a center support brace right here in this bucket that's gonna get in the way. This whole thing is gonna sit at an angle. This side's gonna go inside the bucket and this side is gonna sit, it's gonna rest up against this so that it sits at an angle. And I go down the road, it'll curl the snow toward the outside. And I won't have to worry about it. With the bucket, it, it curls it out both sides, and then I gotta make multiple passes to clean the road. So if I have this at an angle, it'll blow the snow off one side. So that's what I'm gonna try to accomplish. It's a good thing it's not supposed to snow today. What I've got so far, is these three links and 55 gallon drum welded together and vice gripped into place on the backhoe bucket at about the right angle that I want them, about the right position. Now I've got to find, figure out brackets to weld to the drums so that I can either bolt or clamp these, this bucket, blade, snow plow, whatever you want to call it, to this bucket. There's a little bit of a gap on this side because of the lip of the 55 gallon drum. It's not going to fit flush up against this. But I can use that gap to put a piece of square tubing in there and put a couple pins on that square tubing and then drilling holes in the side of the bucket, having those pins go through and that'll hold this side in. This side's going to rest up against the outside of the bucket over here. And I'm going to have to make some type of bracket system that supports this 55 gallon drum probably most of the way around and then bolts to this side of the bucket over here. It's getting a little late in the day, a little bit colder, so I'm going to wrap it up for night, pack up the shed, I'll be back out in the morning. Another day, sun's out today, blue skies, might not snow on us today. But we did get a little bit of snow last night and yesterday. Filled up our bucket a little bit here. An uh, inch and a half. Nice fluffy white snow. So we'll get this cleaned out and get some of this uh, crusty mess moved out of the way. Get back to work on the end of this bucket over here. Let's see if we can get this thing done today. So I've got my supports in on the side, my holes drilled, top support, bottom support, 
two bolts on each side holding this thing in to keep it from pivoting too much. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'll give you a little bit closer look and show you what I did. And before the sun goes down, it's kind of heading that way. Before the sun goes down, we'll try and take it up on the road or at least do the driveway here. See if it works or see if it falls apart. <laughs> so here's this side over here. I got a bracket. I welded a bolt there thinking this thing was going to sit further back in. But it didn't turn out that way, so I just cut the bolt off. We've got a bolt down there. A bolt up here. This bar is welded solid. Kind of a stabilizer. That bolt goes directly to this sidebar. So that stabilizes that. It's got a little bit of a gap there. I might put another nut on there so it'll actually suck up tight so it doesn't have that chance of the, the bolt backing out. The top and bottom brace are made out of a piece of, I think it's inch and a half by three inch box tubing that I cut. So it was two pieces of angle iron. It took quite a bit to cut it. I didn't have any angle iron. I didn't have anything else that would work. So that's what I did. I've got top piece right here. Got a brace right there. Another brace down there that goes all the way down to the bottom. Piece of support. That's the other half of that. Then I weld it on the bottom. So now that it's all welded together and bolted up, let's go see if this thing works. Wasn't a lot of snow out there, but for the first run, that wasn't bad. I did get a chance to get in some deeper snow and some driveways, push it out of the way. It seems to hold up pretty good. It's not getting caught up on anything. It seems to sit level with the bucket when I get it at the right angle. It seems to scrape just fine. It doesn't let anything off that side. And that was the whole goal behind this bucket was to keep everything going off one side. So I don't have to keep going back and forth up and down the road to get that, that piece in the middle to disappear. So I have a snow plow attachment for my backhoe now and I probably won't have to use it until next winter. Until next time guys, go make something.